All right, so, so let's take a look at the sequence of events that happened uh, before and during this, uh, this huge earthquake off Japan. The green dot you're looking at behind me was the uh, location of a magnitude 7.2 earthquake that occurred on Wednesday morning, uh, local time, off the coast of Japan, itself a, a fairly substantial earthquake. That earthquake was followed by a set of uh, smaller earthquakes, aftershocks, um, and those aftershocks, uh, if we had just seen this sequence, we would have said, oh, it's just a normal main shock aftershock sequence, but boom, about 50 hours later, there was a, the main shock, which is shown on this map as the red dot, and then a whole swarm of aftershocks that followed uh, the main shock. And what you're seeing here is how those aftershocks happened over a period of about a week after the main shock. And that orange region, delineated by those orange dots, uh, essentially gives you a feeling for the uh, area of the fault uh, along the plate boundary that ruptured in this event. Remember, it's a, it's a dipping fault so it's got, uh, it's got some length to it, about 500 kilometers, and some width, probably 150 kilometers uh, down the dip of that mega thrust zone. And we can expect to see, uh, as this sequence unfolds, over the next period of weeks to months, uh, and in fact years, that uh, we will get more and more earthquakes uh, uh, as, uh, as part of the sequence, essentially as aftershocks of this uh, major event.